Welcome to the Bold Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for supporting our channel. We are at 30, almost heading to 33,000 subscribers. I don't take it for granted. We do it every day because of you. There is a new narrative in the political space. And this is a narrative that has been thrown on Raila Odinga's Supreme Court case that if <laughs> the court rules in favor of Raila, then we are going to be in a crisis. This is a narrative that did not start today. This is a narrative that has evolved with the time. I want to agree with Kenyans who believe and analysts who posit that Supreme Court is a political court and because the Chief Justice doesn't have veto powers on the other judges of Supreme Court, the verdict can go either way. But in the light of affidavits by different uh, uh, stakeholders here, the affidavit from UDA team, William Ruto's lawyers, and Chebukati and the rest, there is a consistent pattern that can show you how this crisis narrative has actually been developed. Chibukati's counter affidavit to Azimila Umoja, to Martha Karua, to Raila Odinga Martha Karua petition has been, according to me, addressing what I can call political issues and deviating from the crystal clear, crystal clear real issue of the Form 34-S and the disparities in those forms. And what Azimila Umoja team have believed that was a vote rigging. Chebukati is talking more about people who he met, the meetings, and how he was coerced. But at the end of the day, he had made his decision. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm like, how relevant is even that information? now and again in his defense there is the voice of his affidavit saying that he made his decision and worked followed the strict constitution constitution to the letter to save kenya from a crisis so if i don't know because if the results were to go on Raila's Dinga side, or maybe to take us to a rerun, is a rerun a crisis? <laughs> and is Raila Dinga's win, if he won, was that going to be a crisis? You, you, you listen to that and you find out something. Now, let me tell you, David Uching, um, Ugenya MP, when he met Deputy President William Ruto, in his speech, I listened to that speech, he said that even though Raila Odinga is in Supreme Court, but the only justice that Kenyan people want to see is reduction in the price of Unga and so forth, and, 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 and reduction in the cost of living. Regarding Geshagwa in the campaign trail, <laughs> I also said that Raila Odinga's Supreme Court case is delaying a drop in the price of Wunga. And so today, I also listened to Deputy President William Ruto when he was speaking in Bungoma. And it seems there is issue of crisis. He also made a um, statement on the issue that the people there, that the voters are waiting for the hustle fund. <laughs> Yale mambo mumefanya Watu wa hapa bungoma Yale mambo mumefanya kwa kupiga hii kura Mumefungua ukurasa mpia wa siyasa ya kenya. Tuki 
Mwenda mbili Sio lazima baba yako ajulikani Sio lazima mama yako ajulikani Bidi na mungu Hawa wananchi wanaweza kukufikisha mahali popote Mwenda nilewa jamei kukua Mwenda nilewa Sasa mwenda jua Sasa mwenda elewa Kama huyu kijana Ambaye alakua na uza kuku barabarani Anaweza kuwa rais Hata wewe my friend Anaweza kuwa kitu katika taifa hii Nini muna nielewa Nini muna nielewa Na tumepiga hii kura Vile niliwambia Tuondoe kiburi Na tuondoe madharau kila mtu aheshimike kama namna gani mimi nawashukuru sana kwa maombi yenu nawashukuru sana kwa bura zenu ile nafasi kidogo imebaki si mnajua mambo iko kotini pale lakini siko na mambo mikuru ile mambo itaisha ndio tukuje tufanye ile kazi tuliwaambia mimi najua wengi wenu mnauliza ile hasla fund ni athari ngapi Ndiyo unataka kujua? Wacha tumalize hii mambo ya kotini nitaongatangazia. Mimi najua unataka kujua ile mpango yetu ya chakula tuanze kupunguza gharama ya maisha inaanza. Mimi nataka niwahakikishie yale mambo yote tulisema. I promise you. Now if you listen to that there is already the chest thumping I am the president <laughs> I am the president and uh, people don't need when to kimalizana hiyo court to tarudi so it looks like the court case is just a formality many people are so worried about this because uh, I remember one person was saying that you know what Diri Kampanyo used to say, Bimi, kure yangu yezi ibiwa. So, when he comes out and makes such remarks, the lot of confidence on maybe getting his way through the court, uh, some people really ask bold questions. Now, I want to look at it critically to dissect why this crisis narrative is actually being brought. And it's what I think is going to form the basis of Ruto and um, and and Chebukati's lawyers arguments in court. Their argument in court I think is not largely on integrity of results they're deviating from that and they're simply talking about a crisis. And I want to explain why that is going on. Kindly subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell and like our video. The notification bell is just below the subscription button. Um, yes, on today, 28th, I still reach out to you on behalf of Sana Tieno. We did a 15 days extension of the medical fundraiser, uh, bill, medical bill fundraiser. Uh, we are targeting 215,000 um, for the next, today's date, at, so it's like it's ending on 5th September that is for the next 7 days we'll be glad if it can reach that target we extended the medical fundraiser now I need to explain a bit for one of us Sarah Tiena has been a, was a subscriber and is a subscriber in this channel she reached out to me and uh, the bold and um, because she suffered acute leukemia and has been in the hospital since March we decided that why not we can do something and impact a life away from the political stories. So for me, this is part of my corporate social responsibility and just reaching out also to the society in a special way. And we have been running that. So we did a 50 shillings challenge, donation challenge. And so far, 679 came from 679 
thousand was collected through the bolt and paid to the hospital. There's also another bill that was sorted. So the balance so far is 215,000. As I'm shooting this video, uh, we're at 200 and uh, we were at 124,000. Yes, so we are halfway the target. So I believe that in the next seven days we'll hit the 100,000. Perhaps then give that 200 shillings, thousand shillings check. Kindly support. The number is up there, 0710 62 It will appear Kevin Olo. And I believe that in this, you are touching a life at Santen Sana. Santen Sana. Now, the crisis talks is a political bearing that Kenya Kwanza is setting up to reject any verdict from Supreme Court if it will not go their way. So someone might ask, how? Why? When you already tell the Kenyans, you're already telling supporters that the priority at this moment is not on what Rana Dinge is pursuing in Supreme Court, the justice call in Supreme Court, but the priority now should be on lowering the price of Unga, which is a populist um, statement, because you know that everyone relates with the Unga. It's very strategic anyway. Is lowering the price of uh, the standard of living and talking about the hustlers fund that was promised in the campaign trial. This is simply to frame uh, the perception of the voters or rather of the supporters and tell them that we should not be going to court. There is no need on that court and it's about the standard of living. So I may not be shocked if courts nullify the election and the counter statement from Kenya Kwanza would be that the judges are not hustlers. The judges are rich people. They do not understand the problems of the common man. And that's why they're taking us back to the ballot. The priority was not us to go for voting again, but to reduce the standard of living. <laughs> and this is politics. You can't blame someone for that. Now, remember this propaganda uh, is being propagated, is being propagated to Raila. It's, it's, it's one that is created to shape any Iran campaign. It's strategically being propagated to Raila and obviously to show that he's oblivious of Kenyan's problems and maybe depict or portray him as a man that is on his mission to achieve to get power and not on the solution of Kenyan problems. Now, if you listen to that speech, Ruto was talking about hustlers, which was part of his campaign. So there is nothing new from it. And you can see consistency. They are simply going back there. And that is why this perhaps might might reduce the public interest in the court. In the case, I, I, I think I have mentioned in more than three videos in this analysis that the Supreme Court case, on the other side, there is the evidence and what the judges argue on case. But now from the two, from the affidavits from both sides, I can tell you, I can tell you that maybe most of those judges have just made up their minds. They have already known what they're dealing with. Whatever is going on in the next phase will just now be to get a deeper understanding of what plays out. And of course, that also is also another opportunity where people are going to reveal more. There'll be more revelations going on. So the public interest, they want to reduce it because if Raila wins that case with the public 100% glued on it, then there is going to be high conversion rate. If he goes to Raila, there are many people that will see, okay, Raila won this thing and it was denied. Because anyway, if he wins, the, the understanding is he won and he was denied. So that is also one thing that they are doing. But then I can tell you that my punchline is this. Kenya Kwanzaa are trying to divert the attention from Supreme Court to public court. And the reason why they're going for this is because of what I can call as 
I don't say poor defense, but shallow. Let me use the word shallow. For me, the responses on both UDL from both UDA lawyers and Chebukati's lawyers, they 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 they, they are not poor. They are they are good. They are they also defense. The affidavits they are filing, the responses are are, are also are, are, are strong, yes, but they're too shallow. And for me, I'm not a lawyer, but I, I'm wondering how someone is asking you about hacking and rigging and the tally, but you're responding by meetings and personification of the responses. You know, I think there is a lot of character assassination. <laughs> if those, especially the affidavits from Fletcher Bukati, uh, the affidavits from um, uh, from the Abdi Gulia, even Cherera is having is character assassinating of Fletcher Bukati. But at least you listen to him saying to her saying um, on the issue of the telling that there was a problem in the telling. I listened to the one today by I think the response by Rafael Tuju, and Rafael Tuju is making a statement that even meeting Chebukati was in the interest of hacking that had happened and he wanted it to be addressed as the executive director of Zimila Omoja. So for me, Ruto is simply taking us away from Supreme Court. He knows, he knows that Kenyans are going to be glued there and wants the case to be won on the public court, even though we know that this might influence little judges. Thank you, guys. That's my bold statement.